Hello, this is Rodolfo Silva, and let's talk about IMM brushes and how to use them to populate our model with a bunch of different meshes. So IMM stands for Insert Multi-Mesh Brush, and it's basically a brush that has an inventory and assortment of meshes that you can just pick and draw them onto the surface. So this is pretty cool for kit bashing, but not only that, you can have something like some bolts around your model, so you can go over here grab a bolt and just start dragging that. So anything that's kind of like repeating, that's when IMM comes into play. Basically, you want to have an inventory of meshes that allows you to just speed up your workflow just by using this IMM workflow. Now, in order to access your insert multi-mesh brush, they are under our brush palette, under our insert mesh folder. And you have a bunch of those. You have some curved IMM brushes, which we'll talk about later. But um, we're just using this IMM model kit. Now, let's say I'm drawing some bolts over here. Let's say I'm drawing there and there and there. You can see they're kind of like inconsistent when it comes to their size. So we can change our stroke type from drag rect to something like drag dot. Drag dot would allow you to just drag it and it's a single size and it's based on your draw size. So if I lower that draw size, now it's going to be much smaller. So I'm going to draw a bunch of these around this model. And now let's say I don't really like this bolt, so I want to change that. So you have the ability to go to your gizmo. Not only will it spawn with your gizmo oriented to that model, but while you have your gizmo on, you can just click any other IMM mesh that you have in your brush. And it's going to replace that. So. How do I create an insert mesh brush? In order to create an insert multi-mesh brush, let me just go to a different tool over here. Let's say I want this to be a part of my IMM brush. So if I go over here and now I want to capture this to be part of this collection that I have over here, all you have to do is go to your brush palette under your settings and under create, there's two options here. You have the option to create an insert mesh and an option to create an insert multi-mesh. Now the insert multi-mesh will look at all of your subtools and it's going to bring them over to your inventory. It's going to create a new brush and you can just have all of your subtools there. Now the insert mesh, however, is going to look at your current active subtool. So if I click that, ZBrush is going to ask me, hey, would you like to create a new brush with this mesh? Or do you want to append that mesh to the current brush that you have selected? So if I click append, it's going to append that mesh to the end of our inventory. You can see that there's the mesh. Now it is very important the angle to which you capture those meshes. So if I capture them looking at it from the front, it's gonna be drawn like that as well. So even based on the normals, it's gonna be drawn from that perspective. Now, if I capture this mesh at an angle kind of like this, and I go over here again and create insert mesh, create click append, and you can already see on our preview that the mesh is looking at it from a different angle. So if I draw this now, it's gonna be drawn from the angle that is being captured and then tilted on the normal that we've drawn. So if we draw it over here on the side, we can get something like that. And this is how you create that insert multi-mesh. Now with that said, if you wanna edit any of these meshes, you can just go in, like I showed you before, with your gizmo, replace so you can actually even start a new tool here let me start with a cube 3d go to subtool make polymesh 3d go to your gizmo and let's say i want to i want to make a variation of this fastener over here so i with my gizmo on i press my mesh that i want to edit and it's replacing my current subtool with that mesh so if i go over here and now i can go in with my z modeler brush for example and let me just paint some temporary polygroups over here and now I can Q-mesh this, so I'm going to go and uh, hold for my presets, Q-mesh single, and just uh, drag that in. So I can do that and then just tap to change the polygroup. And let's say I want to have, maybe I want to do some selections. And now again, Q-mesh single, and then just add a few details over here. Now, if I want this to be part of that IMM, again, I'm going to open up that IMM brush that we just had before. And I'm going to capture this from this angle. So I'm going to go to my brush settings and then just click Create Insert Mesh and append it. Now, as I append it, again, it's going to go to the end 
of that inventory. And now we have a edited bolt. So I can just draw and start creating some cool hard surface kit bashing iterations. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.